So I'm David and this is Tyler and so for our PLC project we uh, for our 10 uh, different devices that we had to use uh, throughout it we used a foot switch right here a limit switch right here a three-phase motor starter which is right here a variable frequency drive right here to control this three-phase motor then we used uh, Siemens S7200 uh, PLC. Um, we used a 24 volt DC alarm, a single pulse single throw switch, a green LED and a red LED, and a forward and reverse push button station. All right, so basically our project, what we do is so we can turn this button on this uh, single throw switch, and then it starts the, starts the jigging. And then what we can do too, Using this forward and reverse, we can like lower and uh, raise up and like just make our jig wherever we want to put it. So we can do that. We can uh, that overrides the jigging. And then basically, what are, what's going to happen? So we have a red button going on. And then as soon as this gets hit, it'll turn the green LED on. The alarm will sound and warn you that you have a fish on. And then the green LED will come on too. And then it'll start reeling it back up. And then it'll get up to the top and stop. All right, so what we'll do right now is we'll start the jigging. So right now it's jigging up and down, and then we'll uh, lower it, and then just to show that we can uh, raise it up too, we'll send it back down, and then we'll set it to the depth that we want it to. I can't really see how. Just keep going. Right there, Steve. All right, there we go. And then basically what's gonna happen is when a fish takes it, it's gonna hit that. And then this basically, so as soon as you set your depth, you hit the foot switch to make it so it's all ready, and as soon as it hits the switch... So say you get a bite, and the fish jerks down on the line, it begins reeling automatically. And yeah, and then to reset the alarm so it shuts off, and you can take your fish off and everything, now you just hit that single pull, single throw switch again, and. Yeah, reel back down. Start the cycle over again. So this one's just simulating a boat or ship coming in through the waterway and the uh, bridge lifting up uh, so the boat can go through. And, um, everything we use in this, we've got the motor starter over there. Uh, we programmed, programmed it through the PLC. Uh, we used the VFD, a variable frequency drive, to control the hertz going into the motor and the speed of that. Uh, we've got uh, two green lights, a yellow light, and a red light. Uh, the conveyor, simulating water. We have a buzzer and our three-phase motor. The sensors running here on the conveyor, and uh, some timers programmed in to go up the sensors. So we'll get it going. And uh, it's, uh, if you can see the lights over there, right here at this first one, it's a green light, meaning everything's good for the boat to go ahead and approach. And as it hits its first sensor, that light's going to shut off. It's going to go to the second one. The flashing yellow light was going there. Um, just caution light, the bridge goes up, and another green light comes on that's just for the boat to let them know, hey, here, you can go forward. As soon as it's through, that'll come down with a flashing red light, and then Boat goes on its way. Uh, my name is uh, Vera Adam. Uh, this is Joe and this is Matt. Uh, our project is uh, simulating uh, a little a lift that uh, lifts from one floor to the next. Uh, we used uh, the S7200 uh, PLC to control the program and it uh, runs through a VFD which uh, changes the frequency so that it can either go up or down and also changes the speed as well. And then we use two LED lights to signify when the, the, uh, the motor was, uh, is running and the, the lift is going up. So when it stopped, it's red, and when it's going, it's yellow. Um, and then uh, we have two limit switches, uh, one at the bottom and one at the top. They also they signify when uh, the elevator has gone too far. So when it hits the limit switch, it'll also hit a buzzer. And, uh, 
it'll hit the buzzer and, and, light the neon. and also light uh, a neon light, which will mean that the, the limit switch has been touched. And then we also used um, finger switches to control whether it goes up or down. And a foot switch to override the motor when a limit is reached. And uh, Joel will demonstrate. Okay. We have the two, two uh, finger switches. One which controls the motor and one which controls the direction. So I can figure out which one. This one controls the motor. And it'll go up and then you can hold both and it'll go down. And so if you were to go all the way up and hit the limit switch, it'll hit it, the buzzer will sound, and it'll reverse the direction. And if I keep doing that, it'll hit. If we go to the bottom, we'll hit that one. Slowly but surely. Okay, and then use the foot switch to override the motor to stop. And then we can start the process over again. I'm Matt and this is Keith and uh, we made an extreme alarm system and it works by uh, having the door closed and you press start to rig up the alarm system. Keith will be the intruder opening the door. So what happens is a floodlight turns on, uh, it activates a sensor which will turn on the fan. Uh, which simulates a blowtorch to deal with any intruders. And it also starts a countdown, which turns on these buzzers after 10 seconds, which simulates alarms going off in the building. And we can also turn off the buzzers independently with a switch. By closing the door, we'll turn off the alarm system, and you can rearm it by pressing the start button again. Alright, so I'm Colin, this is Tony, and that's Cade, and we're simulating kind of like a vault door. So over here, we have lights that turn on, so we have two red lights that turn on when the vault door is closed, a yellow and an orange flashing light when the vault door is open, and a green light for our sensor that turns on after you scan your card, which will open the door. We have a VFD controlling the speed of this motor, which drops the bottle down on the pressure switch, which starts our uh, seven segment display, which counts down and shuts or turns this motor on with that VFD. So this door shuts behind you as you walk in. And as the door is opened, that sensor up there kind of controls the whole system and turns on an alarm. And then we have a single pole switch here that overrides this motor in case we want it to start or stop at some certain time during the uh, program. And then this, this station here will be located in the guard's office, so the green lights and all these with the door and the sensor, and then the logo here displays a text which is doors open or doors closed. So we'll turn right. it on. Vault door is closed, red LED on. Uh, the logo says vault door closed, so as he scans, it'll turn green, the door is ready to be opened. That sensor will blink the yellow lights, dropping the bottle, which counts the sensor. So the seven segment is counting down to zero. Once it hits zero, both motors should kick shut and the door will close. And the system's ready to start over again.